Hey pretties, welcome back to my beauty channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of makeup videos on this channel if that's something you're into. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Cutting to the chase, we're going to be using the Barbie products from Glamlight today. Some of this stuff has been spotted at Ross, some of it has not. I have not seen the palette spotted at Ross, but I've seen the liner which I picked up from Ross and I've seen this lip kit at Ross as well however I didn't see it myself I saw it on social media just to clarify I actually ordered this from the Glamlight website unfortunately I checked this morning and everything looked sold out except for the body oil that I picked up right here so I'm really really sorry about that but um, hopefully they will restock I will link everything down below regardless and make sure you're checking out your local Ross um, to see if you find any of these Barbie products. But yeah, I'm going to be testing out all of these today. Drinking some coconut water, not sponsored, but sometimes when I'm drinking stuff in my videos, you guys wonder what I'm drinking. So this is the Harmless Harvest Organic Coconut Water. This is so, so good. I heard somewhere, I think my friend Amy told me that coconut water taste depends on your taste buds, whether it tastes sweet or salty. For me, it tastes really, really sweet, which is really crazy because for Manny and for her, they don't like coconut water because it's super salty to them. Very crazy. I don't know how that works. Let me know if coconut water tastes sweet or salty to you down below. But this is my favorite coconut water. I recently got all of these at Costco. I got like two cases of them because I'm obsessed. I drink like one or two per day. I went ahead and clipped my hair back and I applied some lip balm. I just used the Givenchy um, lip balm. It was from this collection, the pink tube. If it's still available, I'll link it, but I'm not sure that it is because I got this quite a little bit ago. First thing we're going to try out is this Barbie palette. So this is by Glamlight, as I mentioned previously, and it just has a lot of really fun colors. Fun fact, I'm going on a date today, so this is going to be interesting because... Um, it's a casual date and I'm gonna have very colorful eyeshadow on today but hey anything for you guys <laughs> literally I'm just really excited to get into these products and try them out if I look like a floating head that's because I actually um, did some self tan I've been wanting a little color to my skin but I decided not to tan my face simply because I'm trying some new skincare out and I don't want to interfere with the products that I'm using for my skin right now because they're custom products that have been helping my acne and things like that so I definitely don't, you know I'm testing these out so I don't want anything to interfere I'm using the makeup revolution IRL filter finish concealer I actually just picked this up at Walgreens when I picked up myself tanner so this is my first time trying it like right now and um, it says it's a soft matte waterproof finish so I thought this would be a perfect eyeshadow primer which is the main reason got it to be honest I like using a really long wearing like soft matte finish concealer as my base or I use any bright colors and my P. Louise base is like drying out so I really need to order some more of those but for now we have this concealer and what better way to see if it's creaseless than to put it on your eyelid you know actually never owned glam light until recently so um i don't know how these are gonna perform so i definitely want to do the eyes first just in case we get a little bit of a mess we can clean it up and it won't get all over the foundation this is from my actual brush set for those of you that don't know i did create a brush set with sl miss glam so if you guys are interested i will link it below we did a restock and sl miss glam beauty actually stocked up quite a bit of them to make sure all of you guys can get your hands on them so um yes i will definitely link that below if you guys are interested and i have a coupon code for 20 percent off of it no idea what i'm going to do here but i definitely want to play around with the purples and the pinks just because I don't play around with purple very often so I think it would be a good time to play with purples but we might play with the blue we'll see but I'm going to start off with a transition shade which is going to be this brown right here in Sunkissed. I know that's like a little bit boring you guys probably want me to dip into some color but I definitely want to start off with a good transition first just to make sure that everything goes smoothly that concealer actually is very creaseless it didn't crease that entire time so this is really nice okay just judging off of this transition shade these are going to be very blendable if they all are formulated this way which makes me very excited i love love blendable shadows i personally don't tend to reach towards shadows or palettes that i have to work really hard to blend it's just not what i'm into um i understand that 
you know, some of you guys don't mind working a little harder to blend your shadows, but I personally don't love that. So also very buildable. I added a little more and it actually did create a little bit of depth. Since I don't know what the heck I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one eye and then come back and show you guys how I did the eye. <laughs> Just because I have no idea what I'm dipping into. I feel very overwhelmed looking at this because it's just so many beautiful shades. I just wish I could put all of them on my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye right here and then we'll come back and do this eye on camera. To get closer for this eye part, but this is what I came up with. Not wearable at all, but I really wanted to play with all the colors, so this is what I came up with. I didn't do underneath my eye, obviously because I gotta do concealer and stuff before we do that. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so I already showed you guys the transition shade I started with. I took one of my brushes in TG07 and I just took the color Just Vibe, which is this really pretty purple right here. And I just kind of worked it on the outer part of the crease. Basically just used it as like you know, my second transition shade, like the transition shade that's going to mix all of the really beautiful, colorful shades all together. Before I started deepening, I went in and I applied the lid shades, which is not something I normally do, but sometimes when I'm playing with color, I tend to do a little bit of a different technique depending on the palette or the colors that I'm working with. I'm going with this blue. It's called Dream Life. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue. It's like between blue and purple. And I'm just going to flip that brush over and I'm going to grab that and place that on the center of the lid. Patting it in so it blends. And I'm flipping it over it again so it blends in with that purple. Flipping it over again, mixing it in, mixing the blue in with the purple, and then I flip it over to the purple side and mix in the purple to the blue. So I kind of just go back and forth until I get a really pretty gradient. Then I took a little pencil brush. This is the TG06 Eye Smudger, and I'm just taking the color Chillin, which is the lightest purple in the palette right here. And I'm going to place that on the inner part of the eye. And I'm going to pat it and apply it and blend it in with the blue that we just applied. And this is just giving us a nice base. I have to admit these mattes work so well. I see the hype with Glam Light. I've heard really, really great things about Glam Lights. I'm shocked that I hadn't tried it until this point in my life. But... I am very pleasantly surprised and their price point is so affordable. Well, you know, not it's like a middle price point, but it's very affordable for this quality is what I'm trying to say. These are quality mattes and I'm honestly shocked. Going in with my brush in TG09, this is just a small fluffy eye brush. I'm going to take the color Bestie, which is a really deep purple, and I'm going to apply that into the outer part of the eyelid to deepen it up and I tend to apply it diagonally this way if you guys have seen any of my makeup videos on my other channel you'll know that this is kind of my little you know technique that I use for most of my eye looks I'm going to just apply it and taking the other brush that we used for the purple I'm just using that to blend so we're not losing that blue that, that pop of blue in the middle and I'll even go back in and put more of the blue just to make sure it doesn't get lost. So the next color I'm going to use is called Got This and it is a really deep like cranberry color right here and this is what I use to really really deepen up the look. I'll go in and work this in quite a bit. So I start off with a little bit and the key is less is more sometimes when you're trying to deepen up a shadow just you know apply the tiniest amount and then blend it and then repeat and I am gonna bring this in like a little half moon to hug the eye I'm gonna take the brush we used for the purple once again and we're going to be using that to blend just so that we're not dragging out the dark color too far out or anything like that just gives us a really really clean blend go back in and apply more of the burgundy color and just build it until it has the amount of depth that i want well it's like a cranberry like a deep cranberry or deep plum it's more like a plum 
color. I don't know why I called it cranberry, but yes, definitely more plum. I'm gonna take the brush we used for that very first transition shade, the brown, and I'm just going to use that to kind of make sure everything is blended together. Being another, a different eyeshadow TG07, which is my favorite eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take one side, which I've already used it for this eye, but we're just gonna use the same shadow, so I'm not gonna grab a clean one. But I'm going to take one side and grab a darker shimmer that, you know, it's going to go on the eyelid. I'm going to take Let's Roll, which is this really pretty, deeper, purpley blue. And I'm going to take that on one side of the brush. And I'm just going to press it. Oh, wrong eye. But, you know, whatever. We can retouch that one. <laughs> I'm going to press it right in the center. You guys are probably going to think I could have just skipped adding the mattes underneath but I have a reason why I add the matte underneath it just creates a really beautiful base so when you're looking at this eyelid there's depth and it's not just a shimmer so I'm going to take the other side I'm going to clean it off a little bit and take the other side and I'm going to take the color out of office which is this really um really pretty light purple we're going to place that on the inner part we're just gonna press that in to give that nice gradient that you're seeing here between that light purple and that deeper purpley blue i'm gonna go back in with the brush i used for that deep plum color and just using that to blend any harsh lines. The very, very last thing I did was take another TG07. Or you could even take one of the smudger brushes. I kind of used both. I used this, the smudger brush for precision. Then I used the TG07 to blend it out. I'm going to take the color Play Date. Or Play Day, not Date. Play Day. And this is going to be my inner corner color. First going in with this one to kind of just get this know to blend in with that purple that is going into the to the eyelid and that's just kind of going to tie everything together there and we're going to bring it down as well and then i'm going to take my tg07 with a little more of that and use that to kind of blend and i love me a beautiful pink in the inner corner i don't do this look often i wish i did but it's just so pretty to have pink in the inner corner even when you just do neutral it's just such a nice pop of color for spring and summer so that's everything i did for the eyeshadow look you guys i will probably be doing a little bit of purple or something here underneath at the end but let's go ahead and move on i do have the barbie liner which i'm dying to test that i've been needing a new liner little box i love how this is like a little surfboard it's so cute probably just keep it in its packaging just because it's so pretty here is what the liner looks like back looks like this and you know i could have read the claims on this but i did not <laughs> but i'm pretty sure this claims to be waterproof um just based off of the name of it oh the liner is in stock but nothing else is in stock. And this is on sale for $9 on Glamlight. And then they have a 15% off. Or you can pick it up at Ross for $5.99. Surfboard Eyeliner. It's a beach-proof, ultra-water-resistant, defined felt-tip liner. It guarantees maximum precision with every stroke. Allows you to relax on vacay knowing that your eyeliner will stay intact. I did for that. It is summertime after all. So a nice waterproof liner is always needed to do with thinner wing but you know what we i don't know where this is gonna go so this is a really really fine tip they definitely were not lying about this having some precision i'm just gonna start at the outer end and give myself a little wing and to be completely honest if we were not testing out an eyeliner today i don't think i would have worn eyeliner with this look i, I would have just done lashes or like lined my line my lid with that deep plum color but we are testing out liner so it is very very precise formula the way it dries down maybe it's because it's waterproof but it strikes me as a kind of formula that will bunch up if you keep putting layers over, over top of it. You know what I'm talking about? 
just go in and do the thinnest line in the inside possible. It's very matte, but I'm telling you guys, it's giving that formula that's going to just bunch up if you keep doing layers and layers of the liner. So I'm going to try not to do that um, just so we can really use it. I'm kind of stretching it to see if it cracks. It's not cracking here, but it cracked a little on the wing. So I'm going to go ahead and just fix that. Okay, I feel like I definitely need to test this out more. I'm very picky with eyeliner. So right now I just couldn't tell you whether this is going to be something that is like incredible just because I'm seeing how it's like bunching. But maybe if I can get the hang of like doing just one layer. Let's try to do it on the other eye and see what happens. Because I feel like this definitely cannot be one you layer up. Okay, the key is definitely to work one section at a time with this so you don't have to go back over it. And it looks phenomenal that way. Okay, an interesting little fact I'm going to point out about this liner is I can definitely feel it on my eyelids. I don't know if I'm going to make any sense when I say this, but it's there. I can feel it when it's drying. Very weird, but if this is really super waterproof, I can dismiss that. I can dismiss that because it's hard to find an eyeliner that does not smudge on me, especially in these inner part of the eye. Eyeliner and mascara are my nightmares um, to find good ones of just because of that. So you can see if you tug at this, it cracks. Um, not on this part, definitely just the wing part, but um, yeah there's that so let me go ahead and put some lashes on come back do a little bit more of my makeup on camera just so you know in case you guys are wondering what i'm gonna put on the rest of my face lashes are on if you're wondering these are literally timu lashes i will link them below but i went ahead and did my brows i used a actual pomade today sometimes when i have a stronger eye um, i like to go ahead and use a brow pomade just because it gives like a little bit more definition you know it gives the same depth on the brows is the eyes, so it's not too much, but I use the um, Benefit uh, Brow Pomade. You guys know which one I'm talking about. So for my foundation, I use the NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I use the color Stromboli. This is the color I use when I am self tan. And for my contour, I use Laguna 3 from NARS. Love, love, love this stuff. This IRL Filter Finish Concealer. I'm going to start off, just because I know this is really, really light, I'm going to start off with my Dior um, 2N Backstage Concealer. This is going to serve as like the base, and then I'm simply going to use this for brightening, which is why I purchased it anyway. I don't know if you guys have seen any of my other videos, but usually I like to pop a little bit of a really fair color to just brighten right in that area so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm also going to take this dior concealer and use it to define my cheekbones just taking my timu sponge yes i'm still testing the timu sponges out i will have a speed reviews for you guys very soon on everything i've been testing recently on this channel the conclusion about this dior concealer is that it's very skin like very natural Definitely like a medium coverage. Probably more like light to medium, but it does brighten as you guys can see ever so slightly. So this is really good for those um, no makeup days or, you know, to use as a base for another concealer. I was very impressed by how this did not crease on my eyelid. So I'm going to take the Make Revolution Makeup IRL Filter Finish. This is in C1. I literally picked up the first one. And I will just apply it here to brighten. And I did notice this dries quickly because it has a soft matte finish. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it right away. Sometimes I will let my concealer sit to thicken and like give the most amount of coverage. But I'm not going to do that with this one. Very interesting how thin this formula is when I almost expected it to be a little thicker 
so yeah that's what that looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and do some cream blush i have new nars blushes but i'm saving those for another video so if you guys want to see a review on the new nars blushes just stay tuned because that will be up soon as well i've been testing out this new kylie blush in the shade pink me up and been pleasantly surprised by it i really like it so i'm going to just take that it's very barbie-esque so it'll go with the look so i'm just going to take it on my beauty blender and we're just going to apply and i do tend to drag it up and i do tend to let myself get carried away with the blush sometimes so i will take a little dot of concealer more and just use it to kind of you know mix in the blush with the concealer and this will also kind of mix the concealer and the blush together and i really like the effect that that gives that might not be something you guys everybody that's watching will want to do but i personally really like it so i'm flipping the sponge over and just working in the blush a little more i went ahead and blended the bronzer and stuff and concealer a little bit better i'm just going to go ahead and set everything i'm taking my little heart spongy from timu and my fenty setting powder i've been trying to use this up because i've had it for a minute i tend to like find new things that i love and then i forget about the old things i loved but i there was a time i really loved this powder and it's been a minute um because i've been using my my Huda Beauty one for so long and I just wanted to revisit it because it's been sitting there and it's you know getting old but this is such an incredible powder and I'm just going to dust it away right away you guys know I have dry skin so I'm not big on baking um but I do like to set all my products in so that they last a really long time also so my concealer doesn't crease i really like to set it this is a beautiful powder i highly recommend this one or the huda beauty one they're my two number one favorite go in and take i'm still testing out the new Too faced blush this is in cloud crush very barbie like so very appropriate for this video put that or dust that on top of the kylie blush this has been my little favorite blush combo lately and i'm really sad that this blush i dropped it and it has a broken piece in it now but <laughs> definitely a beautiful one of those beautiful blue based pink blushes that we're all loving so i'm the only one but i do still really love watching makeup videos which is why i created this channel because i want to do my own makeup content i've been testing out a new setting spray this is by the creme shop it's a hello kitty spray and i'm just going to spray that all over my face this will be included in a speed reviews very soon i really love the fine mist on this it has a very like floral smell to it it is a rose water and diamond spray and you guys know the creme shop is made in korea so it's like a k beauty brand i believe correct me if i'm wrong but yes oh this skin is looking flawless i am just like obsessed with this foundation i forgot how much i loved it get my little fan let's go ahead and pop open this gorgeous lip kit look how absolutely beautiful it is the packaging is just everything I don't even want to like use it because it's so pretty but we gotta use it for this video guys of course pretty pink barbie lip liner and the color is okay this is definitely a nice like your lips but better pink the struggle when you have nails like can't even get this out I have a lipstick it looks like this it just has palm trees all over it reminds me of my life currently this is like i think it's plastic i believe yes it is and love the baby blue in pink and this is what it looks like very interesting <laughs> it looks like a glittery pink and we have this i'm not sure what this is but it looks like this it says barbie on the other side is this lip gloss okay yes we have a really pretty pink gloss that is absolutely gorgeous so i haven't even finished the eyes yet i'm just realizing okay i realized i hadn't removed the lip thing that i was wearing so it wasn't 
going but now it is it's just a really prettier lips but better pink definitely leaning more pink does not smell like anything okay there's a liner i feel like i could get away with wearing just the liner and that's it because it matches my lips really well but let's put on the lip color take the lip color from the back because i don't want to mess it up to do a photo yes i know i'm silly but definitely want to do a photo of this so i'm gonna just oh this is like it's like a glittery lip balm it's not really even like lipstick interesting okay so this is what happened to the back of it so it is kind of like a glittery overspray but then it's also glittery once you swatch it like after the overspray there's still glitter i don't know if you guys can tell it just gets like it's like the same thing but it just gets a little darker i think the gloss is probably gonna be my favorite because i do like some color on the lips Ooh, yes this is pretty The gloss is very pretty it's very good quality the formula it's not sticky it's not thick it almost feels like a lip oil so i'm gonna do underneath my eyes and i will be right back this is absolutely stunning so this is a glass bottle and it has a gold lid it looks like this the glitter in it looks beautiful so how does this oh it's a is it a spray or hold on it definitely has a pump so okay so it just pumps out it's not a spray oh my gosh it's so golden and glittery let me show you guys oh my gosh it's dripping down my hand but look at it so stunning wow wow perfect for a night out perfect for a night out it's definitely gonna make you sparkle so just be aware of that it's not gonna be just like a dewy glowy oil it's gonna give you glitter so just gonna put it on my arms as well is what that looks like and i'm impressed wow okay barbie and glam light this is a really cute collection and i do love me some glitter um i know not everybody loves that but i love me some glitter so this will be getting used a lot. Here is the finished look. I put on my little Barbie sweater just to fit the mood and I definitely have some thoughts to leave you guys with at the end of this video. The palette, nothing negative to say. Everything blended beautifully. The colors are vibrant, just stunning. The shimmers are glittery and beautiful and just so stunning. I have no complaints with the eyeshadow palette. Definitely run and get it. I see the hype with Glam Light eyeshadow palettes now that I've tried this Barbie palette. I will be getting my hands on more Glam Light palettes and reviewing them for my channel if you guys are interested in that. Next up is the liner, although I could definitely feel the liner on my eyelids and when I pulled it, it did crack a little bit. I feel like... I feel like in the end I was able to fix it and work with it well enough to wear. I love the way that the liner looks itself. I feel like the formula could be better. Um, you know, it could just be less gunky, but since it is waterproof, sometimes waterproof liners tend to have that effect. But um, all in all, it is super matte black eyeliner, so I will be using it again because I love the look of the eyeliner. I will take what I can get as long as this does not smudge or transfer anywhere else on my face throughout the day to be honest. I have a really big issue with products transferring into my inner corner and then I look like I am just tired and just like the grudge. So I definitely, definitely do love that this is, it feels like it's going to stay put. Okay, let's talk about the lip products, the Barbie lip products. I just... It left something to be desired for me. My favorite thing is definitely the gloss, although I'm not sure how long this gloss is really going to last on my lips. It's giving me Dior lip oil vibes, but definitely not with the lasting power of a Dior lip oil. It's like a lot thinner than a Dior lip oil. A Dior lip oil is just a bit thicker in consistency, so I know it's just going to stay on a bit longer. This was okay. The color is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love that it's like glittery and very, very like barbie um and i'm starting with this because this is my favorite thing from the lip kit this might actually become my favorite lip gloss i'm not quite sure what to say about it right now i feel like i just gotta 
wear it. I love the color. I love the glitters in it. Let me get closer. I don't know if you guys were even able to see. It's just so juicy and like Barbie. I don't know. Love it. Definitely my favorite thing from the lip kit was this. The lipstick left something to be desired. I feel like this is something you could give to your little girl because this is just, it just puts, it's a lip balm that puts glitter on your lips to say the least. So it is very much giving toy makeup to me, but um, this is probably not something that I will reach for often. I'm just going to be honest. I do like color on my lips. This is just not, not it for me. Um, I don't know that I want a glittery lip balm when I do want a lip balm as well. So I just feel like this is something that might go to my niece. Um, just because it is something that a little girl would love to play. The lip liner, I will say, is my second favorite from this. My least favorite was definitely the lipstick, lip balm. Don't know if you can even call that a lipstick. But I really do like the lip liner. It's not... It's just a very, very perfect nude. I feel like I always am on the hunt for... A my lips but better lip liner I use cork most of the time but that's because I usually kind of refine something like this like this color so I did really like it because it's just mauvey and pinky enough to be pink but it looks like my lip color but better as in pinker which is what I personally like and look for in a lip liner for the price that you can find this at Ross even the price on the glam light website which is $12 I really don't think it's bad if all you use is the gloss and the lip liner. Such a great value for your money. Like, how much is one lip product at the drugstore right now? Like, $10, $12? Alright guys, that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below which of the Glam Light Barbie products was your favorite. Stay tuned because we are reviewing the NARS blushes next. And after that, I will be doing my speed reviews. So make sure you guys subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see those videos, turn on that bell notification. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.